All right, guys. Welcome to my disaster. Oh my gosh. I'm embarrassed to show you. This is the garage. Uh, not everybody's uh, fortunate enough to have a, a man cave like Garrett. Anyways, I want to do a quick video today on uh, in-car communication, intercom, show you what I've got, uh, kind of show you the progression of uh, what I've been through, what I'm going through, and what I got coming. But right now, I got, uh, the, what the, I got one headset. I'm missing a headset. I don't know where that is. But I, I came out here to get this. Let's take this stuff inside. We'll talk about it. Uh, I gotta find my other headset. Uh, I don't know where that went. Probably my six-year-old ran off with it or something. Dixie, what? I come downstairs and I find the dog wearing my headset. This is completely unacceptable, Dixie. It's not okay. You're playing with my stuff again. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Gosh dang you. Now I can't sell this. It's dog free. I'm oh, sorry about my dog, guys. She's such a troublemaker. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. All right, so I want to do a little video. It's probably going to be pretty quick. Uh, about my setup, my progression of in-car communications. Right now I'm not set up for car-to-car, uh, -car, but uh, in-car intercom. So let me tip this down. Well, let's see what we got here. This is what I'm currently running. Uh, the last video I did was of my wife and I out riding in Sand Hollow. You could hear us talking. This is the setup we were running at first, during that time. I know there's more than one road that goes to this Flintstone house. I don't think we're on the one that takes us there most of the time. I don't know until we get halfway out there and then we go, oh, this wasn't right. Yeah. So what we have here, this is a uh, an intercom box made by Flightcom. It's strictly made for aviation. Well, I don't know if it's strictly, but you know, it's an aviation company. This is meant to be portable, to travel from plane to plane for pilots who rent different planes, do that kind of thing. Uh, it's currently a two place pilot, co pilot uh, setup. Um, it's got squelch, it's got volume, it's got audio in, audio out. You can plug in your GoPro, you can record your audio. That's what I was doing. Anyways, I went with this because it was economical. Uh, this thing cost, when I bought it, it was $113. I looked at it today. I'll show you a screenshot of the Amazon, what it is currently, I believe. Right now, I'm going to say it was $116. I'm not currently looking at it while I'm doing this video. So I got this. Uh, fairly inexpensive. Runs off a 9-volt battery. We've been on several day rides. Uh, haven't had to put a new battery in it yet. In fact, I pulled that battery out of uh, another device I have here at the house. And I've probably got six hours on that thing so far. No issues whatsoever. Uh, listening to music, talking, um, it's worked great for that. So that's made by Flightcom. We'll have a link in the description down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. The headsets, check these out. These are actually made by Rugged Radio. But they have a division called Rugged Air. So... These are meant for pilots. They do not have a typical plug, an off-road plug or anything. They got this type of deal right here. We got a microphone and speaker. I don't know which is which. But anyways, they sound pretty good. Uh, the intercom does a really good job. I'm quite impressed with it for the cost. Very cost effective. Now, why do I run these in the first place? Well, because honestly, uh, the last few years, my hearing is not what it used to be. 
even right now my ears are kind of doing a little crackly thing. Uh, when I get in loud environments, loud music, uh, crowded places where it's just really loud, my ears start crackling and I can't hear anything. Um, second reason is I want to be able to talk with whoever my passenger is, generally my wife. I like to talk to her. I don't like yelling at her, um, which is kind of what you end up doing. My new Maverick Sport is much louder inside with, you know, now I got a windshield, I got a roof, I got a back window on there. It's got doors. It's not the quietest thing on the inside. And honestly, every time I rode it before I got these, I'd come home with a headache. Like it made me not want to actually get in it and ride it anymore. Um, most people don't experience that, but lately, uh, my ears do that to me for whatever reason, uh, probably way too many years in the construction industry. I work own, uh, a wood shop here at my own house. Uh, so it's always loud in here. Got CNC routers going on, uh, saws, whatever. I do wear hearing protection all the time in the shop have for several years now. Uh, you won't see me in there without them. But anyways, that's why I went with this whole setup. is So for hearing protection, for ease of communication, and this setup was inexpensive. Uh, I'm into this about 300 bucks for two headsets and this deal here. Which isn't bad considering if you went with a rugged radio, off-road, uh, two-person intercom, with two of their off-road headsets, you're looking at about $800. Uh, same with PCI. Uh, I wanna say it's Samson Racing, Simpson Racing. They actually have a really cool setup, which I considered for a minute until I scrolled until, you know, and I saw the price. But they have uh, wireless Bluetooth headsets, which will interface with a two-way radio. So they're pretty sweet. They're 500. Well, they were in the 400s. They were on sale at the moment. But, you know, you're almost $1,000 to get two of those. I'm in this just over 300. No, just under 300. Anyways, uh, so far, these things have been awesome. I've been loving them. Um, it makes it really easy to talk with your, your co-driver, your passenger, um, makes it more enjoyable for them to go on a ride. You can plug in your phone or uh, MP3 player. Uh, does anybody have one of those anymore? You can listen to music, do what you want. You, you can, uh, you have your volume control here, but each headset also has its own independent volume control right there, which is really nice. So public service announcement. Hearing damage occurs at about 80 decibels. We did a video in Garrett's Terex and his dad's Terex uh, and also Yamaha Wolverine. I don't remember the exact numbers, but the Terex at like 35 miles an hour on the road, it was like 114, 115 decibels. I know it was over 100 decibels, just constantly. Uh, that's hearing damage right there, guys. So. so I don't want to sound like a nag, but protect your ears. Uh, it's not worth it, dude. This is the way to go. Get some headsets, you can play some tunes. Um, the biggest disadvantage on these headsets that for me personally is they're over the head. Uh, you can't change it. You can't put a helmet on when you're wearing these. So that's one of my biggest disadvantages with this. They're over the head. Um, a lot of times uh, I want to be wearing a helmet. When I'm out at the sand dunes, I'm ripping, I'm driving hard, as hard as I can go. Not as hard as Garrett can go, because he goes so much faster than I do all the time, everywhere. But <laughs> anyways, you can't wear a helmet with these. So those are kind of out of the question if you want to run a helmet. We do have something else that we're working on right now 
Um, anyways, I want to finish talking about these. There were some other points I wanted to hit real quick. All right, another uh, great thing about this setup for those of you that just want strictly in-car communications, this box is expandable. You can get another, another little box that connects to this thing. It has kind of like a little phone cord port right there that plugs into the other one. And it gives you two more positions. You can plug in two more headsets. So this can be a four person uh, deal right here. So I, one of the biggest benefits that I see for that is uh, four seaters. Say you're in a, a Polaris Razor, right? And you got two kids in the back. Um, real talk, if your kids are in the back of a Razor, they'd rather be home because they can't see anything. They can't hear nothing. You know, they're bored out of their minds. But if you get something like this and you set it up for a four-way intercom, you can talk to them. They can talk to you. They can ask questions. They can say, Mom, what do you see out the window? Because I can't see anything out the window. And Mom can tell them what's out the window. You know, uh, if they're in a Terex, they'll be like, Dad, I can't hear anything. I can't hear you. What are you trying to tell me? Well, you get these and you can talk to them because let's be honest, you can't hear anything in a Terex. Passengers in the back cannot hear anybody talking up front. And if you tell me you can, well, I don't believe you. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Probably is. My ears are crap these days. But anyways, enough with the joking around. It's a pretty sweet setup for 300 bucks. One of the disadvantages to this system is uh, you can't interface a two-way radio with it that I've been able to find. Uh, I don't know how it works. I haven't contacted the company to find out if they have information on how to make that work. Because honestly, I am moving away from this system. It's going to go... And after a while, we'll never see it again. But I'm going to show you something that's to come. I know a lot of you guys probably already run something similar to this. But, uh... FOD Sports, Bluetooth communicator. A lot of guys run them on motorcycles, street bikes, that type of thing. Uh, one thing I need to mention with the Rugged Radio and the Flightcom system is I purchased that 100% on my own dime. This, we were provided three of these by the company, an Amazon company. Uh, I actually left a comment on one of their videos a long time ago, and they came back to me and said, hey, can we send you one of those? And I was like, well, can you send me three of them? Anyways, long story short, we ended up getting three. We're in the process of using these, trying them out, seeing if they're worth recommending to anybody. And anyways, that's going to be uh, part two or part three of this series. You're watching part one. So that's to come. Uh, I don't have it down here, but part three is what I just received the other day. It's a completely different uh, intercom system. New headsets. They're behind the head. I can get helmets that work with that. Uh, it's got Bluetooth capability, it's full stereo, um, can interface a radio with it, the company makes a, a radio with it. Uh, and I bought one of those on my own dime, and Garrett and Joe have also bought one of those on their own dime. Um, the company has no idea that deranged off-road bought them and is make, gonna make a video eventually on it or anything like that. So I'm hoping that's something that's going to be awesome. It's something we can recommend to you guys. It's definitely more expensive than the uh, setup I just show you, showed you with the aviation setup. Uh, I haven't hooked it up. I haven't even tried it. I just got it yesterday. So it's going to be a little while before you see anything on that. So anyways, I hope uh, maybe one of you guys wants to get into something like this. I find it it's to be completely functional. And it works great. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, 
I will or have already played some sample video of it. I don't know yet. I haven't completed the editing of this video. So at this point you will see it. Uh, anyways, I hope that provides some value for you. A way to get into an intercom system for 300 bucks for, you know, for a two person. Uh, you spend another $100 or so for two more headsets in the box. So another 250 you could have a four person headset. So anyways, if you like that, drop us a like. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. That'd be awesome. Uh, we love making these videos for you. Uh, it's been fun. We've been doing this for like a year now, just over a year. Uh, I think we just hit 4,000 subs the other day. So it's been great. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate your comments. If you have other ideas or other systems that you have used that are budget friendly, drop it in the comments. Let other people know. Let us know. We love having a community where uh, we talk about this stuff. Anyways, you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.